everybody and welcome back to my channel decoding for beginners in python now today we'll start off with a question we ended with last class we start off why is python the most popular language here are eight different reasons and we have all four of the major reasons of why python like on our last slide last class so it's easy and simple it's efficient it has diverse libraries and framework it's versatile vast community there's a big community using this it's portable and extendable it's very flexible and it's used for documentation and i have two charts up each chart has different information and these charts have been created at different times. This one, I think, is created not that long ago. And this one, I think, not too long ago, not too short period of time. Like, somewhere in the middle. You know what I mean? Now, um, our first uh, graph is going to be our horizontal bar graph. And this graph has um, data of... There's 11 different languages that, that we're going to see right now. There's Python, and you can see it's 4.1% increasing and is used by 29.9%. And then Java is 19.1, and it's going down. It's a decreasing negative 1.8%. JavaScript is increasing by 0 0.1. It is current. Uh, it is 8.2, and so on and so on, all the way to TypeScript, which is the last one. Now, TypeScript is 1.8, which is 0 0.3 increasing. So right now, since all of them are decreasing by a lot. TypeScript can be a little higher if this um, if this yearly trend wasn't too long ago. Now our second one is going to be a pie graph, which the black piece this not the Android browser but the Python right here is twenty five point twelve percent, and the least amount is Samsung browser, which is one point. 22%. Secondly is Microsoft Edge. And then, now we're going to answer our second question. What are Python variables? What are variables? In our homework last class, there was three symbols, and I asked you guys like to tell me what those symbols mean and what they are. So all the symbols were there was an X, there was an arrow, and there was a hundred block. I told you guys to tell me what these three symbols are meant. So, and if you guys figured it out, you would say the X is the name of the variable. The arrow is what we use in Python, the equals arrow sign. And the hundred block is the value of the x so you can make another variable let's write car name okay, so now we're going to add a few values to this car name variable so value number one don't forget about the single quotes so we have v v for volvo now we add the closing single quote and then comma b for bmw comma and then we have K for Kia. Here, this is what the memory of, this is like how they store it. And this is the variable. Name equal to edu or education rica. A equal to 10. B equal to 20. A equal to 10. B equal to 20. Name equal to e, um, education rica. Here are some do's and don'ts on naming variables. Start with a letter, any letter, or the underscore. Don't ever start with numbers. Don't use special characters in except underscore. 
Don't use keywords. Only use numbers and letters and underscores. As we said, we can't use keywords, and so here are some keywords in Python for you guys to memorize or to like take a picture or something like that. So we have and def false import not true as del finally in or try assert l if for is passed while break else from lambda print with class except global none raise yield continue x if non local and return. That's. Uh, it. We just have our question left. So our question is going to be how to print "Hello World" in Python. Yeah. For today, thanks for watching. Also, if you haven't yet, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like the video, and hit the notification bell so you can know when I post a new video. That's it for today. Bye bye.